I can't believe it. Cannot believe it. You did everything right. This guy did everything right. He was there for his wife. And as soon as she lost a little weight, started feeling herself, I want a divorce. Shocking. Let's get straight into the video. Today we will review our dear Sarah story. She decided to divorce her husband just to go back to the streets to get pumped and dumped ruthlessly. I'm doing really ugly crying because, oh, oh, I didn't know my cat was in here. Two months before I was crazy. <laughs> Oh, I'm just really... Like, there's no one else to blame but yourself. Jesus Christ. And the guy actually loved her. <laughs> oh, I'm really sad. <laughs> now, she went through a weight loss journey to look better about six months prior the divorce. And her husband was so happy thinking that she was losing yeah. all this weight for him. Mm. Nope, she was doing it so that she can divorce him to got be with Chad. But before we see how she is going to be pumped and dumped by Chad, let's watch how she surprised her husband. Oh, oh my God. This is what I say guys, if you guys are too kind to them, they're gonna eat you alive. Six months prior, he's thinking, oh, my wife is doing something nice for me. I'm not saying all women are like this, but brother, think how much the wedding cost, how much he invested in her, how much he did all of this. Instead, she's just playing with his time. He could have taken that time and actually maybe built a company or done something with, with the time. Bruh, I feel so sorry for the guy. I just wasn't expecting that because I know what she'd been through over there with all the stress with what she'd yeah, been it's after been her been mom. Really been and I didn't realize that she was doing this. No. Wow. It's been really difficult to keep it a secret. Like my son noticed and then I thought, oh, I've just got to tell him. So I let Charlie know. She probably started cheating here. And then she noticed like, okay, in order to get back on the market, I need to, I need to start training. So then she loses the weight then. And when, when the time is just right, bam, she dumps the dude. He was there when she had all that weight, all that weight. Don't you think he was thinking like, shit, I want my wife to be attractive. Doesn't really matter. Because if you say something then, oh, you're being misogynistic. You can love me at any weight. I can I can do whatever I want. You can shove all those cookies and do all of that. Maybe I just cried out all my fun. I don't know. Uh, but um, yeah, no, I I, uh, I thought I'll make something uh, positive out of something negative. And so I did this while I was doing that. So yeah. Oh, oh look at your God. face. <laughs> oh. Usually they become self-destructive. When they notice like, okay, everything is fine. Hmm, let me, let me add some drama in my life. Let me, let me get a divorce. Why? This is the problem with modern women. They are emotional roller coaster. She looked so happy in this clip, but then divorces her husband after about six months to go ride the CC with Chad and Tyrone. Well, let's see how that turned out. Hello, my beauties. Guess who's single again? It's okay though, it's okay. Um, I went to see Mr. Pink tonight and um, I'm so grateful that I got to meet Mr. Pink because he was... Jeez, like she's even sitting and she's talking, oh my god, if, so if this was me out, somebody's getting shot, I'm just saying that, somebody is getting shot, I don't give a damn who it is, somebody is getting shot, bruh, and the husband just probably, oh yeah, you know, if that's the way that you feel and I'm like, what? I did this investment. I was here. I was here. I think there was probably a lot of girls which were interested in the guy as well. The guy said, nah, I got a wife. I'm committed to her. F for better or for worse. Jesus, why do you take the vows? Then just have an open marriage. An incredible distraction in my life that reminded me what it is to feel being in love. He 
the disrespect made me realize that the person I want to be with is somebody who really <sighs> make me laugh because he made me laugh every single day. Um, I think that we were right for each other <gasps> for the moment that we met and the time that we spent together. But I think that <sighs> our paths are just not aligned for a long time. Think of the guy. Like no one is even doing this, everyone. It's the parade for her. Oh my gosh, her sexual independence. You're so brave. Oh, you, you left your husband. You're so brave to go, to, to be on the streets, to be on the block. I went to his house tonight. He made a delicious chicken Caesar salad. We sat <laughs> and we chatted. And I was really worried because I wanted to have a chat with him. And I was like, I, I need to talk to you, but I don't know how to do this. And I want to be sick in my mouth. I was just like, I just did not know how to begin the conversation. And he went, do you want me to go first? Um, and it was really kind because I couldn't do it. And um, yeah, it was just, he's a really good guy. Think of this, grandma is on TikTok doing beauty oh my god beauty bra like i thought like at this age right you're in your 50s soon in your 60s bra you're you're somewhere in uh, india maybe trying curry or doing something like that you know you and your husband are traveling you guys have saved up money and you're thinking okay now these are our golden years we're going to spend time together people are starting to pass away you're going to funerals saving money doing all that hanging out with your grandkids, right? The last portion of your life, you don't want to spend that alone. You don't want to be alone. And dying alone is like, I, I'm, I'm not dying alone. That's why, to be honest, I don't have any kids, but I've always been against it. Like, oh, should I get kids? Or in the future, I'm probably going to get kids because what are you going to do for the rest of your life? So, and my life is so complicated. Like I'm supposed to be leaving to go into New Zealand in five weeks. Your life is a dumpster fire. That's what it is. It's not complicated. You're just a, a big dumpster fire. Um, you know, I've just come out of a marriage. And my life is really just all over the place. And it's a lot. I mean, it's a lot for me. You think? So it'd be a lot for a potential partner to have to deal with me. And I mean, like, I literally think that... Last week, I had some sort of mental breakdown, but I'm fine again now. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, we're used to seeing Sarah Snot cry, everybody. You can clearly see that she developed feelings for her Chad, Mr. Pink. She has over five videos talking about how Mr. Pink is so wonderful, even though Mr. Pink was very clear that this situation was just casual. Check it out. Hi, gorgeous. I thought we'd have a chat about... Friends with benefits. Brother, honestly, the, you come to a certain age where you just need to grow out of certain things. This is just embarrassing. And most of the girls which do things like this is just embarrassing. In your 20s, in your 30s, I get that. But this, you're in your 50s. That attention, that attention-seeking behavior is so addictive. When I'm in that age, I got my fishing rod, I'm maybe on my four-wheeler, I'm on the farm doing something, you know, I'm getting the, the sheep or doing like, I'm doing something, you know, like, oh, what is dad doing? Oh, dad is being boring. Maybe I got some lions or I've, I'm doing something at least, but I'm, I'm being boring dad. What happened to like boring dad and boring mom? Oh yeah, they're just reading their newspaper. Oh, oh, grandma's on TikTok. Oh God, grandma's on TikTok. Bruh, I'm like, grandma, get, <laughs> grandma, get off TikTok. So, I've recently gained one, which I didn't imagine I would have, because you know, I've not really had a friend with benefits before. So I went to Mr. Pink's on Saturday and we were just hanging out and I mean I'm totally just like yeah we're mates you know there's nothing going on there I definitely don't want to have any type sort of relationship it's like it's like I'm looking at a 16 year old girl talk is it doesn't that isn't that for you doesn't that kind of creep you out isn't this like pretty creepy when an old woman is acting like a child and she's like oh uh, oh 
But if, if this was a man acting like a 16 year old, 17 year old, we'll call him all the words in the dictionary. But you're looking at a woman, she's acting like a child. A 50 year old woman is acting like a 16 year old girl. Oh my God, we got to talk. Let's sit down. I'm like, what is going on here? And double standard, I guess. You know, I, we just, we both know that we're better off being friends. So I'm over there and we've had a few drinks. So I'm like, oh, it's okay if I stay the night. And he's like, yeah, sure, no problem. So I'm literally naively uh, just going, I'll just jump into bed with him because I've slept with him before. You know, I'll, we'll just go to sleep. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Pinkboard is a game. The internet never seems to amaze me. But anyway, guys, leave it in the comment section what you guys think about the video. Do you think that she's acting her age? Or do you guys think that she's past her prime to be acting like a 16-year-old girl? Leave it in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.